one of the things that I think the foreign secretary told me uh, when he was here is the fact that when every the whole world is you know slowing down, this is the ideal time to put the groundwork. So when the world starts, we will be ready with everything. Um, what exactly is the government doing thinking ahead we know we, we we hear a lot about the port city but port city alone cannot be the only uh, you know all uh, eggs in one basket kind of scenario so where else are we looking at at the moment as you as you very correctly mentioned one must always prepare for the future uh, these kind of uh, pandemics can come and they will go they're not going to remain forever yeah. So we must be ready for the next phase. We can't wait till everything is resolved to start thinking, well, what are we going to do? And uh, That's what we've been doing so. <laughs> Normally in the world, always after a situation like this, there had been a uh, growth of uh, growth period of tremendous growth. That had been the, uh, the historical fact. So we can expect the same thing will happen. If you look at the, the global predictions, uh, it is predicted that 2021 alone, the global growth rate would be around 6% and the following year would be about 4%, 4%, 4.4%. Uh, so why not we get ready to make mm -hmm. use of that opportunity? Uh, of course, predictions might not be 100% yeah. accurate but the, the coronavirus is also changing mm -hmm. and it is also fighting us hard. Yeah. Uh, so things might get delayed but it's a, it's a known fact. Once this is over, there's yeah. going to be huge growth. And we are also expecting to get something out of that, particularly when it comes to tourism, for example, foreign investments. For those, for us to benefit from those trends, the growth of tourism globally, uh, people seeking investment opportunities, we must be ready with our own infrastructure. So that is where my ministry has a lot to play. And uh, in terms of like, one thing COVID has taught, I think the whole world is that uh, stop looking at only one area. Keep looking economically elsewhere. Things that you would not even have thought about it. We even discussed about these things uh, a couple of times when you were here. Um, once again, are we going back into the same thinking? Tourism, uh, tea, rubber, coconut. Is that is is that our thinking for the future as well? No, you must understand. Tourism is a very very important, very vital component of our strategy. Uh, simply because of the foreign reserves. If you look at Sri Lanka's average numbers in any given year in the past, uh, we were having something like uh, uh, 20 billion uh, imports and 10 billion exports. So uh, you, there's always a gap of about 10 billion. And this 10 billion gap was filled by mostly tourism and uh, earnings from uh, f foreign remittances. And today that is what has been challenged. Tourism revenue, which is about 4.5 billion, has become virtually zero, and uh, the, the 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 remittances are also struggling more yeah. at the same level. And even though there's about seven billion remittances, uh, we had about five billion outflow, settlement of loans. In April, four billion, and in July, another one billion, five billion went out. These are so, dollars. So that creates a huge gap of almost ten billion. So this cannot continue year on year.